Imagine living during the late Cretaceous period about 70 million years ago when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Back then, a year wasn't quite like the one we know today. Instead of 365 days, a year had around 372 days. Even more fascinating, each day lasted only about 23.5 hours, half an hour shorter than our current 24-hour days. This means the sun would rise and set just a little bit faster and time itself seemed to move at a different pace. The reason behind this difference lies in the way our planet spins. Over millions of years, Earth's rotation has gradually slowed down, stretching our days to what we now experience. But what could cause such a change in the rhythm of our world? Gradual slowing of Earth's rotation is mainly due to the gravitational forces of the Moon. As the Moon orbits our planet, it creates tidal friction, an invisible tug that acts like a cosmic break ever so slightly slowing down Earth's spin. Over millions of years, this effect accumulates, making our days longer and reducing the number of days in a year. It's a subtle process, but its impact is profound. Without the Moon's influence, our days might still be as short as they were in the age of dinosaurs. This celestial dance between Earth and its Moon continues even today, quietly shaping the passage of time. How do scientists know exactly how long a day or year was millions of years ago? The answer lies in the fossilized shells of ancient rudest clams. These remarkable creatures recorded their lives in microscopic daily and seasonal growth rings, much like the rings of a tree. By carefully analyzing these rings, scientists can count the number of days in a year and measure the length of each day during the Cretaceous period. These clams, acting as biological timekeepers, have given us a window into Earth's distant past, allowing us to understand how our planet's rotation and the passage of time have changed over millions of years.